Hey guys, I figured I'd do a short one today. Somebody was saying, hey, I'd like to see what a completely stock RPM and a stock Victor would do. Don't have either of those in stock, guys. Sorry. I do have my heavily worked Victor Jr. It is cut for a 1206, which means we have a pretty bad interference fit going from the manifold to the head. And it should adversely or adversely adversely affect our flow quite a bit. Let's take a look at it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave the manifold on. I'm going to take off my 770, and we're going to take a look at it. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can see in here. Tough to do. All right, guys, cannot get it to focus. It's just too deep down the rabbit hole. But uh, hopefully you can see we've got a huge edge around that because it's a, it's a 1206 going down to a 1204. All righty. You guys have seen this before. This is the, the Dart 165. It's ported to about 182. That flowed to 70 with my... RPM performer that was ported out sleeper style with a notched plenum, my 770 carb with a snub stack on it. This is what we got. The TPI beat it by quite a bit. What did I say? I said the Victor would stomp it bad. Even with our huge mismatch going from a manifold that's bigger down to a smaller opening cylinder head, we still got a small minus and pluses all the way through. Now this hits 260. That head by itself only flows 270. So obviously I did something right with that manifold. That is an all burr rough textured manifold. Works really well. Take a look at 300. A lot of cylinder heads don't get to 200 by themselves, okay? We're doing that through a carburetor, through a manifold, through a cylinder head, okay? 500 to 600, where this lift would be in this setup, 251, 258. Pretty damn hot, pretty damn hot. Now, what if we took that head and we opened it to 1206 and gave it a little more room? I would think it would go up a little bit. There's no doubt that there's a restriction right there where that uh, 1206 is neck, neck and down to a 1204. But it's kind of fun to uh, take a look at. Now, take a look at our swirls, right? The dual plane is on this side. And this is our Victor, single plane. We only got a small plus because this was actually in the negative direction, right? Minus, 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 minus. Between 500 and 600, it's a touch low from where I would like it to be. I'd like it to be about 700, 1700 minimum. Okay? Does that mean it won't run well? I've used this manifold before. It runs really well. It's true. I did have it on a set of bow tie heads with a 10.6 to 1383 with a decent sized roller cam worked really well. Now has it been changed since then? Yeah, it's probably even better now because I did work on it since I got the flow bench, so I would say it's probably in pretty good shape right now. What else do I need to talk to you guys about? I'm only I only got a little more work to do on the runners on the TPI. I may have an LS job coming in, but we're not gonna worry about that soon. Uh, relatively local guy, maybe an hour away. I think he's got a, a Suburban or something he wants to work up. Six liter. He's out looking for a different set of heads. He has an extra engine. He opened it up and it didn't look good. So he's looking for a set of higher compression LS heads. I think they're going to be cathedral ports, but that's okay. Those work up pretty nice. In any case... I think this is going to be relatively short because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out for a short one. 
Have a good night.